Did you know 50 million trips happen between LA and Vegas every year? Imagine turning that bumper-to-bumper -bumper crawl into a 200 mile per hour joyride across the desert. 85% of these trips are made by car, which is why the I-15 is always jammed. But there's a game changer on the horizon. America's first high-speed bullet train, cutting this journey to just two hours. Welcome to Brightline West, America's only true high-speed train. Sounds like just another transportation project that'll take forever, right? Well, not this time. Hold on to your hard hats because this $12 billion marvel is already breaking ground and construction has already started. The Brightline West project isn't just connecting two cities, it's stitching together the fabric of the American Southwest. The train will make stops in Las Vegas, Victorville, and Rancho Cucamonga before you reach your final destination, Los Angeles. At the end of this video, you will understand where this line is going and why this project is a game changer for everybody in Nevada and California. Before we dig into the engineering marvel behind Brightline West, imagine this, a high-speed train racing through the stunning but unforgiving desert landscape. The route, a desert symphony of steel. As we speed through the Mojave, you might wonder, where does this steel lifeline actually begin and end? The route isn't just a straight shot from A to B. It's a carefully planned path with key stops that could change how millions travel. Let's start our journey in Rancho Cucamonga, California. This bustling suburb is more than just a funny name. It's a crucial link in the Brightline West chain. Here, the high-speed rail connects to the existing Metrolink lines, offering a seamless trip into and from downtown Los Angeles. After 23 miles, which is 38 kilometers, it stops at Hesperia. This high desert city might seem small, but it's set to become a major hub for commuters from the high desert region who work in the greater Los Angeles region. As we drive further northeast, it stops again after 18 miles, or 30 kilometers, in Victorville, Apple Valley. This 300 acres plot will play a key role in the future, as this station will be connected to the High Desert Corridor, a transport passage between Victorville and Palmdale, which would unite Brightline West with California's high-speed rail. Finally, we reach after 150 miles or 240 kilometers, the glamour of Las Vegas. The main station is planned on a 110-acre plot between the I-15 and the Las Vegas Boulevard, and it's near the famous Strip. Imagine stepping off the train and into the neon-lit wonderland in just over two hours. Along the 218 miles of rail line route, we passed three wildlife crossings and 600 tunnels or bridges to pass the railway. With 96% of it running right down the median of I-15, higher safeguards will be installed. Safety is paramount, so there will be zero grade crossings on the entire line. In simple terms, this means the train track never intersects with roads or walkways. Adding to this is the European Train Control System, a high-tech guardian angel that enhances both operational efficiency and passenger safety. The trains will be 100% electric, and the goal by 2045 is that they only use solar-powered energy. Brightline West plans to use Siemens American Pioneer 220 trains with a max. Speed of 200 Mawasardonis designed and built in America. These will transport passengers between Las Vegas and Rancho Cucamonga in only two hours and 10 minutes, compared to the current three hour and 40 minute car drive. If there is no traffic, inside they will have plenty of space, free high-speed Wi-Fi, charging stations, ADA accessibility, and access to onboard food and beverage. With all these features, Brightline West is positioning itself as a pioneer in American high-speed rail. It's a field where the U.S. has historically lagged behind other industrialized nations. But with this project, we're not just catching up. They're setting new standards. But this isn't just about connecting cities. It's about changing the way of travel in the American Southwest. The Brightline West project is expected to serve more than 11 million one-way passengers each year. That's a lot of cars off the road and a lot of time saved. Desert Dreams From Sand to Steel Building in the desert isn't just about plopping down some tracks and calling it a day. 
The harsh environment presents unique engineering challenges that would make even the toughest construction workers sweat, and not just from the heat. Let's talk numbers because this project is about more than just connecting two cities. It's an economic powerhouse in the making. We're looking at a $10 billion boost to the economy, 35,000 construction jobs, over 10,000 union positions, and more than 1,000 permanent jobs. That's not just building a railroad, it's building communities. It's like turning desert sand into gold, but instead of a magic lamp, we're using good old-fashioned American ingenuity. The project is also set to generate over $1 billion in tax revenues. That's a lot of zeros that could go towards schools, hospitals, and other vital infrastructure. But perhaps the most exciting aspect is how this project is reshaping the future of transportation in the region. The new line will reduce miles by car by 700 million per year, preventing 400,000 tons of C02 emissions, which is an equivalent of 37,000 households. This lowers pollution and reduces congestion on the road, and that is good to stop climate change. That's a win-win for everybody, right? Nice. From vision to reality, a new era of high-speed rail. Zooming through the desert at 200 miles per hour sounds thrilling, but why hasn't America built a true bullet train until now? The answer lies in a web of challenges, including budget overruns, delays, and competition with cars. Yet, Brightline West may have the engineering and financial backing to succeed where others have failed. This $12 billion project, partly funded by a $3 billion federal grant, is aiming to overcome these obstacles. However, concerns remain. Will passengers pay hundreds of dollars for a ticket when they can drive? Will door-to-door -door not be quicker and more convenient? The balance between speed and affordability could define the project's success. Let us know in the pinned comments if you would choose the car or train. Beyond connecting Vegas to LA, Brightline West has the potential to revolutionize US transportation. If successful, it could pave the way for future high-speed routes across the American West, linking Phoenix, Salt Lake City, and Denver, and bring the US closer to other industrialized nations with bullet trains. As Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg noted during the groundbreaking, this is more than a new railway. It's a transformative step towards a connected, sustainable future. While skepticism lingers, this project symbolizes America's push to innovate and reconnect through faster, greener travel.